What kick makes your opponent want to puke? It's the front kick. No one likes getting hit with a front kick. When you get hit with a front kick to the stomach, it makes you feel like a little bit nauseous, can knock the wind out of you, it interrupts your breathing. This is definitely a strike you do not want to get hit with. Let's go over four key points that's gonna help you improve your front kick. Number one, the height of your knee determines the height of the kick. So I only, if I only lift my knee up a little bit off the ground, I'm only gonna be able to kick this far. Whereas if you lift your knee up nice and high, that determines the height of your kick. You could snap it. So in one fluid motion, lift the knee, snap it out at the very end. From the side angle, again, only lifting the knee this high, it's gonna determine the height of your kick. The higher you lift the knee, the higher you'll be able to kick. Boom. It's especially useful because then you can strike low, medium, and high. So always bring that knee up as high as you can. Number two, connect with the ball of the foot. You don't want to connect with the entire surface area of the foot. When you focus the energy on a single area, it's going to be more powerful upon impact versus if you distribute the impact throughout the entire sole of the foot, it's going to be less focused and less concentrated. So to do that, you have to point the toes. So I kind of point the toes, curl back and let the ball of the foot hit the target. Different angle, curl the toes, ball of the foot hits that target. A single fo focused area is going to do a lot more damage. Don't spread it out over the entire surface area of the foot, the sole of the foot. Focus the energy into the balls of your feet. Number three, you want to snap your strike. So especially with the kick, I don't just want to do it like slow, put it out there, retract it back. I want to bring my knee up and snap that kick out there. So again, as I lift my knee up, I'm exploding out. Hands up, explode. Don't do it slowly, don't push forward. You're not doing a Muay Thai teep kick, this is a front snap kick, so snap it out. <sniffs> Number four, balance and retraction. So when you throw the strike, make sure that one, you're not falling over when you land. You don't wanna land out of your stance. You wanna be ready to defend yourself if the opponent comes in. Let's say you throw the kick, boom, you land it, you're ready to fire back. If you throw that kick, you have to be balanced. So you're not gonna be very balanced if you throw the strike, you land in front, and now you're a little bit off balance because you didn't return to your stance. As you throw that strike, you snap it out there, and you're ready to throw something immediately if the opponent comes in. But you have to be balanced, you have to retract it, and return to your stance. Key points, elevate your knee as high as possible, connect with the ball of your foot, snap your kicks, be explosive, and balance and retraction. Always return to your stance. That first picture is myself using the front kick in one of my fights, and that second picture is me winning a belt in Thailand by using the techniques that I showed in this video, the front kick. To continue learning, check out the next video on the roundhouse kick, and please remember, like, share, and subscribe.